Hey everybody, welcome back to the Drifter Journey channel. Just brushing her teeth. Lupe is over here, uh, thinking about leaving to go get a second breakfast from some of the neighbors. We are just north of Silverthorne, Colorado, on some river. The Blue River. The Blue River. And uh, we just stayed at this roadside camp last night because uh, we just got the truck back from Toon. They took care of everything for us, so seam sealed it like crazy, so hopefully we won't have those leaks anymore. Uh, we had, since we were having weird adjustment issues, uh, we had put duct tape on the, on our little flap here to extend it. Uh, so they replaced that with a nice thick one. Um, and then they did some reinforcements for us on the truck bed because um, I think the Chevy Colorado truck bed is pretty weak and uh, it wasn't super stoked on it. So they actually reinforced it and worked over the 4th of July. So uh, they definitely took care of us. So I'm glad that happened. We appreciate them. Uh, so we're gonna go back in to beating the truck up and see if we can, uh, you know, break things again. Uh, <laughs> but we will be heading north-ish now. We got about a week left. Uh, then we'll be going to the Trample by Turtles concert, and then we'll be going back, uh, back to home base. So uh, we're gonna try and do some off-road, overland type exploring. Maybe do a little fishing. Maybe just relax a little bit. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Mostly comment, we wanna hear from you. Hit the thumbs up. And if you're purchasing any of our links in the description, it does help support the channel. We greatly appreciate you. Let's get into it. We have a problem. There's a pretty big aspen across the road and we didn't bring mini chainsaw or regular sized chainsaw. Yep, that's a big mosquito. Ew. If that's what that is. All right, well, I guess we gotta go back. So we definitely can't move that. Hmm. <laughs> She's excited. Mm -hmm. This trail is pretty narrow, so Greg is having to back up to a spot where we can turn around. Um, pretty bummed that we're not going to be able to keep going on this road. I was really hoping to find like a really nice mountain meadow fishing campsite. So we will go back to the main road and figure it out from there. Let's talk about today's video sponsor, Epic Water Filters. We love them because they are working hard to eliminate single-use plastic bottles as well as provide clean drinking water for people across the world. You can shop their household products such as this countertop filter, their in-fridge pitcher, and an under-sink mounted filter that taps into your countertop, as well as Nalgene bottles in one and one and a half liters with awesome graphics, there's a ton to choose from, and interchangeable filters. So once you have a bottle, you don't have to buy another bottle. You can just keep getting filters that are made in the USA. Uh, they make a tap water filter, which is great for everyday use. If you're looking for something for travel or the outdoors you can get their everywhere filter which filters out more particulates and bacteria etc shop the link in the description below and use the code drifter journey for a discount we've just been driving around kind of exploring some of the roads back here trying to find a potential fishing camping spot 
and uh, we're gonna stop and have some breakfast. We failed. We get a place with a view, so that's a start. We found some dust. Dusty. Treasure's taking that trail up to that peak, huh? I guess. So some of you may be wondering, how are we finding all these amazing places? Well, we happen to be using Onyx Off-Road, which you can find a link in the description. But I will tell you, Half the time. It's failing us a lot. Probably more than half the time. And I will say there is a lot of valuable information in it telling you about trails and where they are and uh, trail reports and whatnot. Uh, so I think it's worth it just for that. But the app mapping aspect of it seems to be a complete failure so far. If you're interested, get it down below. <laughs> raging endorsement i mean I, th I think it's still worth it i just think <laughs> it's it'd be nice if it worked properly so i think it's worth the information it seems a struggle just getting up onto the infotainment screen in the chevy oh, is that it now well no there's there's in-app issues too no i'm saying this are we on it now yeah it's on it now it's just a lot of kinks to work out we'll be talking to them to see what they can do Thought maybe we found an epic campsite for a second. There's some pretty amazing views. Panoramic, I would say. 360 degree. But uh, it's not really a nice campsite other than that. It's in an old clear cut and um, there's just like a lot of rocks and stumps and things, so. There's a fire pit. Yeah. And it's just windy and the flies are bad up here today. But we'll put it on our uh, Patreon map at some point. Yeah, we're gonna try to find a better one. Come on, load up. One, two, three. She needs help today. Okay, we are now scoping out what I thought might be a possible fish camp. I thought it was gonna be a really good access to the river. Turns out it's way down there. So we've got a bit of a walk and <laughs> no camping. But uh, we are going to take a walk. We've been driving for a bit now. Um, Greg's going to bring a rod, see if the fishing's any good in this spot. Hey, yeah. That works well. You happy with your river quiver? Mm hmm. Doing good. It uh, makes us fish more. People say, ah, that's just for dummies that don't need it. We don't even fish that much. Tell you what, it's real convenient. <laughs> I can tell you, if we didn't have it, you probably wouldn't be I fishing wouldn't be this fishing spot because we know we can't one. camp here. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't be setting it all up for that. Yeah, it's gonna pay itself off in about twenty rolls of tippet. <laughs> Okay, well, today is turning into one failure after another. We got absolutely eaten alive once we hit the Annihilated. river. Annihilated. Um, and we literally ran out of there as fast as we possibly could and we're yeah. still covered with I bites. I got my cardio in. And we're going to, I guess, figure out our next move. You see the goat girl? Did she smell it? I think she saw it. She looked very curious. Oh, she smelled it. She smells it. <laughs> uh, that was cool. We tried to show it to you. Get some 
big horn sheep over there. They're gonna look massive on your screen. All right, the next stop on our grand tour of this area <laughs> is uh, Radium Warm Springs, I guess. I think they call it Radium Hot it's Springs. It's like Radium Hot it's... Springs on the map, but it, all the signs are pointing Hot Spring or Warm Springs. So um, there's about a million people in the parking lot, and we're just gonna wander down. I uh, suspect that it's maybe underwater, but with how busy it is, maybe not. Uh, I just went for a gut feeling. Come on, girl. She's like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you no, you don't first? need to run. Go ahead. Oh, you're going that way. That was the way you came, though, so that works. <laughs> probably the easy way. Yeah. Oh, I think it is. She got it. She made it. Good girl, go ahead. One hand. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Good girl. Let's go. All right, we got Lupe up the little gulch. How is your dip into Radium Hot Spring? Cold. <laughs> it was like I was standing in the river. And it's like a party down there, which looks like everyone's having fun, but yeah. a little busy for my taste. So now we got to walk. Half a mile back up this steep hill. Is that what it was? Yeah. We made it back. Uh, we decided to take the old road back up, which was um, just over twice as long, but much less steep. And probably easier for Lupe, because she has a hard time with steep stuff. So now we're gonna try to find camp for the night. We found camp. It's pretty nice. We get a really good view off this ridge down to the river. And uh, it's a little breezy, but there's no bugs. Right? I know we know of. You like this spot? Should be all right. We got a little dusty this time. Yeah. So while we uh, get camp set up here, uh, we picked up some accessories at Tune including this cool little panel that Greg wants to put up. The mole panel. Ooh, this camp is windy. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put this up because it's been flopping around in here. So I'm gonna put it up and we can move it somewhere else later if we need to. recently discovered that Lupe likes chew toys with squeakers in them and since we're suckers we let her have this one that my mom gave us. It's in the shape of a little poo. <laughs> she likes them. All right it's windy as can be out so we are sheltering on the less windy side which would be the leeward side i believe of yeah. the truck and we're going to go with the easy meal tonight which is a pre-packaged salad with some are these cooked already they are. fully cooked already chicken sausages and then some cherries 
And then we're just gonna Hide. probably go up in there. We got we got windows open facing facing out away from the wind. We'll just go up and enjoy the view and settle in for the evening. I think we're both really tired. Yeah, we did a hundred miles since this morning basically. And mostly dirt. So took us all day. Yeah, we didn't get very far. <laughs> but yeah, I would be curious. I was thinking about mapping back to where we started today. Yeah. Like on the road. Yeah. Uh, it's probably not very far at no. all. An hour. But even to get up to where we are here, like, there's no way. It's all dirt all the way down, and then all dirt. We were over there. That's where we went to go to the hot spring. And then that's all dirt all the way back out that way. So what do you mean there's no way? Well, there's no quick way back, but oh. if once we got back to the highway, we probably only went 20 minutes. Yeah. My light is blowing away. That was that hit me? No, that went right there. Hey. Good morning, guys. So we are all packed up and ready to go. <laughs> Got uh, pretty warm pretty early on this spot. So we are going to head out and try to find the next spot. And uh, I think that wraps up this video. <laughs> um, so we'll see where we end up next. Stay tuned for the next spot. <laughs>